Well, that's unpleasant. Right, today we're having a quick look at a mouldy, smelly and disgusting old caravan that's on its way to the scrapyard. Mercifully. Now this caravan is a swift challenger, specifically model number 4404SE, and it was made at some point in the 1990s. So, it's getting on a bit. So the main problem with this caravan is that it leaks like a sieve. <laughs> so if we look above the high security door here, we can see that the wall is very soft indeed as is the ceiling, and water is also pouring into these cupboards here, which are above the luxury kitchen, where a Michelin star chefs like to come and do their finest work. Now we have a leak here as well. The skylight may as well not be there, frankly, the amount of water that pours through it. And that water also comes along that seam, drips down there, and lands on the knives and forks, which does slightly annoy Michelin star chefs. <laughs> now, if we look down this end of the caravan, I've got to be a bit careful here not to bang my head because the ceiling's a bit low. I'm five foot 11 to give you some perspective, but we also have some water issues up here. That is very damp and unpleasant. We do have a radio though, which doesn't work. We also have this battery condition thing, which doesn't work. And we also have a television, which does work. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Now, if we look opposite the kitchen over here, we have a bathroom, which is every bit as luxurious as you'd get at a fancy health spa, as we can see. Yeah. And the good news is, even though this caravan isn't plumbed into the water, you can still have a shower because that leaks too. I'm trying to think of a way to describe how this caravan smells, but there really are no suitable adjectives. It's not all bad news though, because if we look here and next to the bathroom, we have a nifty little cupboard that contains a tabletop that is clearly ideal for picnics and things like that. Maybe not. We have a visitor. Presumably someone who might buy this caravan. Yeah, that's it. You look under there, give it a good inspection. One careful owner, no less. What's under there? Ah, neat and tidy, as we'd expect. Hello, cat. Even a stopped clock tells the right time twice a day. Okay. I just walked over here, near the front door, and the whole caravan tilted like a seesaw. <laughs> So I suspect the stabiliser legs haven't been put down. And yes, no legs. I wonder if this cat has subscribed to Car Spy TV. Have you? Course you have. Anyway, this caravan's clearly done, so off to the scrapyard.